Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dormer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get beta versions downloaded from the Apple portal. I want to show you what you need to do to get access to those applications and also what is required to get access to beta versions for iOS and also Xcode. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what you need to do to get Xcode beta and also iOS beta versions from the Apple portal. So I'm going to open Google Chrome. And then we're going to go into developer.apple.com. Once we get into the portal, all we have to do is we have to go into account. And keep in mind that you're going to need a developer account to do this. So I'm going to sign in with mine. I'm going to hit enter. And I already have my password saved. So I'm just going to hit enter. So this is going to take me to my portal. And yes, I need to renew my credit card. I know that. Then the next thing that you need to do, you need to click on download. And then this is going to show you everything that I have available. So you can see that this has beta software downloads and all the different operating systems that you can download. So if you wanted to download the latest version of iOS as of today, you can download iOS 13 beta 4, basically download it and then install it in your device. And what I'm going to do today, because I need Xcode beta, I'm going to go into applications and then just click on download Xcode 11 beta 4 because I need to use ARKit version 3. So I'm just going to click on download. And this is going to take a while because it's 7.1 gigs. And while I'm on it, I'm also going to go into operating systems. And I want to also download iOS 13 beta. So I'm just going to click on install profile. And that's going to basically download a profile so that I can download the beta from my iOS device. So that's honestly everything that you need to do once you have the beta installed. All you need to do is basically just extract the contents of it and basically place it under your applications. Once you have it under your applications, all you have to do is basically just launch it and then you should be ready to go. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Developers are starting out or advanced game developers. They have resources for you. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.